What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Money is say. You already know the vibes, you feel me? Back with another reaction. A uh, Hassan Campbell reaction. This is part two of the live, you feel me, on the last uh, video. You know what I'm saying? So, we're just going to finish this one. This live was two hours long. So, you know, we wasn't going to put a whole... Two hours of one video. So this is part two. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if we're going to finish out the video on part two. But, you know, we, we're going to see. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Smash that like button. Turn on your post notification bell. You feel me? So y'all can get notified every time I drop a video. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like my videos be getting lost. You know? And y'all don't get it. So, you feel me? Turn that on. Alright, let's get this brave into this, this video. Hold on. Because these guys are cool with Bambada. These guys are this and this and this and this and that. Now we got the idea of, all right, do you stop the preserving of hip-hop culture, the hip-hop museum that people invested their whole lives into and gave up millions of dollars and went all out to get it done to make the Bronx a destination across the country to this, this, and that? Because this people gave up millions of dollars. To the nigga that molested me. People gave up millions of dollars to a family that molested me. This ain't about. This ain't about tearing down the hip hop museum that Bam built. Do you hear him? Twenty million dollars have been donated to a pedophile ring. The building can stand. The building. Why y'all don't put a victim of child molestation in the home of hip hop? The museum. Why you don't put a victim in there? For all the things you gave twenty million dollars to a nigga that molested me. Twenty million. That gave twenty million dollars to a nigga and his crew that molested me. Now I want y'all to understand something. How's ain't backing down for nothing? When I go outside right now, I am a threat to a museum that is being ran by pedophiles. I am a threat to that. I am at war. I am at war with $20 million and niggas that's trying to silence me. So much to the point the way that that $20 million, how much of that $20 million hits your pocket, yo, that you actually speaking out about that museum? I'm not trying to stop that museum. Layla Wills, because I want y'all to understand what's going on and one of the reasons why my page is shut down. My page is not destroyed. It is yeah, not yeah, dead. Like I had to put my page to the side. Because it was being mass flagged, they took my monetization. They gave me strikes. So now, if I get another strike, I don't. I'm not even monetized no more. They took the monetization off of all of my pages because of this, because of this this museum. And I'm not gonna say nice that some of these other people flagging these YouTubers they play a part in this too. Because Ben Bada got twenty million dollars from the people. The people gave him twenty million. Chuck Schumer just gave another $5 million to the Hip Hop Museum. Layla Wills, on this Monday, this Monday coming up, will be at Town Hall City Hall. I will put the address on my Instagram. You can go to Layla Wills' page and look at her videos where she's putting the Instagram. I will put, I'll be putting her videos. I'll be putting her videos inside my community tab so that y'all can see what's going on. This Monday, and whoever could come out, and go down to City Hall and stop these pedophiles. Stop these pedophiles. This pedophile ring from receiving all these donations in the Hip Hop Museum. We are not trying to stop the Hip Hop Museum. We are trying to get out, get them out. How are you going to take Bronx River Community Center, Bronx River Community Center, homed and housed, children, that used to go to after school to do their homework. That's what they put in music. Africa Bambada ran the community center in Bronx River along with Norma Sanders, who is the president of the Bronx right now. Shout out to Norma. And other people. And in that center, everybody turned their blind eye while Bambada took the kids out of the center who was doing homework or working summer youth during the summer times up to his back cave. Where he played with little boys. Now the same people that was part of this, they're not in Bronx River Community Center right now. They're trying to get back in. They actually moved over to the Hip Hop Museum and convinced the government and the tax people, the taxpayers, to put $20 million in their pocket. I'm not asking none of y'all 
to sympathize with the fact that YouTube ain't paying me no more. But what I am asking you is, if you're going to stand for something, stand with... Yo, I ain't going to lie. How you... How... How YouTube is gonna is is gonna demonetize his channel like that, bro? Like, are you serious? Y'all really gonna do that to him, bro? That's fucked up. I mean, I'm not even gonna hold you. He's he's one of the most entertaining uh, YouTubers, like this that has a platform. You feel me? Like a lot of these YouTubers, they just talk about you know little kitty shit. Da -da -da -da. Like you feel me? It's a grown man. He talks about things that, you know, other adults want to hear. You feel me? And, you know, this is very entertaining for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, why would y'all stop his monetization? Monetization. Like, that's fucked up. Monetize my man. To get them creeps out of that museum. It's simple. Layla Wills, where you at in the, in, in, in the comment section? So everybody can see your page. I'm looking for you right now, Layla, if you in here. Layla's breaking down everything. So Layla, once you talk, you got, you got the wrench now so they'll be able to see you. All the information is on Layla's page. This Monday, the address is right there, 260 Broadway, New York City Hall. This page is not monetized. Any videos that you see on YouTube right now is not monetized. So if you want to support me, because now I'm up against $20 million. And now at this point in time, I'm asking everybody. Hit my cash app up. No, I'm asking. <laughs> no. I hit my cash app up. Now I'm beefing with celebrities. <laughs> because what you what, what, what do you think? Yo, not hit what my do cash app up, bro. What do you think these niggas is willing to do to keep that twenty million dollars? He should just put the cash app in the video. Do you think they want to get in the way of them getting them type of donations? I need everybody to support me. I need everybody, and I promise anybody and everybody. Don't, don't come in here with the clown shit, with the laughing and the clown shit. Ain't nothing funny about this. I will hide you from this channel. <laughs> yeah. I need everybody to stand up and support me on this right here. Because if y'all said, anybody that has a child, I don't care if you don't like me. I want you to look at your child and think of Epstein. Look at your child, think of Africa Bambada. Look at your child and think of R. Kelly. Don't look at the fact that you don't like me for whatever reasons that you keep watching me. Because I don't understand if you don't like me, why do you keep watching me? If you don't like me, why do you pray for my downfall? I fucks with you, Haas. For what it's worth. You feel me? Just turn the TV off. Turn the TV off. My cash app is dollar signs Hassan Campbell. Yo, you got to get it, though. And it's like, just like that. Can't knock the hustle, you feel me? <laughs> Let's get back to the video, though, yeah. Come huh. on. I mean, but people that look like us, speak like us, 
I mean, not necessarily, because they could just remove his part of the museum out. Like, just take him out of there, you feel me? Like, remove him from the whole situation. And then, that's it, you feel me? Where we come from? Try to do something. We shut it down. When a child is touched, when a child is molested, when a child is hurt, when a dog bites a child, the police put the dog down right there. Africa Bambata bit so many children. So many parents couldn't do nothing about Africa Bambata. You know why? Because Africa Bambata had an army behind him. That's why he got away with it for so many years. But bottom line to it is, Y'all have to make a decision as a community, the Bronx, New York City. Do we allow a pedophile ring to run a hip hop museum where children will enter on a daily basis? That's the question. I didn't say anything about the museum has to be closed down. Fat Joe did. The museum could be ran by victims. The The museum could be ran by people who was honorable, honorable in hip-hop, not KRS-One. And the fact that Fat Joe would actually sit there now, after all these years, you finally decide to speak up because there's a $20 million budget for hip-hop? You wouldn't speak for or against the victims, you just stood quiet. But now that $20 million is on the table, you have a voice. You have something to say. And let me make this clear too, man. Some of these YouTubers, I'm not even mentioning their names, are on the payroll of Africa Bambada. I understand where he's coming from. You feel me? And I understand his frustration. You know what I mean? But he's taking it out on the wrong person. Fat Joe has nothing to do with you... In Africa been bought a uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? All he's thinking about is his point of view and what the, you know what he see that's going on with the museum and, sh- and whatnot. You feel me? So, again, I just think that Hassan is taking his anger out on Fat, Fat Joe. You feel me? And it's just, he shouldn't direct it towards Fat Joe. You know what I mean? But I'm going to try not to... I'm going to try not to pause too much. This is a long lie. What I'm going to say... When I come back to YouTube, do you see that my pages is not monetized? What do that tell you? My pages is not monetized. I went from making twenty to thirty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars, seventeen thousand dollars a month to nothing. Shoot, yo. Monetize me, YouTube. You feel me? And yeah, yo, YouTube been playing with my. I'm a little channel. I haven't even. I I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. You feel me? And like y'all play with my channel already. It's not. I'm not even. Nobody really knows my channel like that yet. You feel me? Like that's messed up. Like you feel me? I was. I was violating. Like I was violating the algorithm. Why not? Crazy. Two weeks ago. What happened? YouTube been letting me get away with murder, right? Y'all all say that, right? I've been getting away even though I had three strikes back to back. If y'all don't like me, stop watching Ooh. me. I'm going to burn my eyebrows off. But here's the reality of it, right? I want to thank everybody that support me, though. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Whoever's flagging his channel, yo, stop that shit. For real, that ass. Like, cut it out. Stop flagging the man's channel. Let him get on his platform and do what he got to do. Do we agree with everything he say? No. But it's something called freedom of speech and everybody else do it. Nobody wants to get on YouTube and watch corny shit all the time. We want to see real shit, you feel me? Real situations, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to see uh, no uh, made-up skits or pranks and all that. Like, for the adults, we don't want to see none of that. So, how has come, come with the, I'm not going to say all the time the facts, but he come with the news, you heard? It's like, 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 leave his channel alone. Like, I'm making me tight. I barely have content. I, so, <laughs> like... Like, I could, I'm going to react to whatever I want, but, like, you feel me? This is my main content right here, you heard? Like, getting me tight. Because one thing I will say, 
will say is that first of all, this page right here is going to have a man in the lifetime. Y'all already see it. It's still got almost 3,000 people in the building. And I, even, I didn't even share this link. But, but y'all can share this video. That's the one. For two, I felt like the second coming of Christ, nickel. Y'all niggas are sitting back and y'all watching me. But y'all hating y'all heart. But all I did was put a do not disturb on my page and went viral. <laughs> you mean to tell me that Hassan Campbell is Michael Jackson bad? You know I'm bad. I'm bad. What? You know it. Who's bad? I wish I could moonwalk out this bitch. I'm an endless nigga in the press. And you niggas is mad. <laughs> You mean to tell me, hold up, I put a do not disturb page up, it went silent, didn't see nothing, didn't say nothing, yeah, yeah I seen these haters, ooh, I seen these haters, niggas talking about, what you say, doggy diamonds, and it's funny <laughs> cause the video that got flagged, when I said that I would knock the son out, and, 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 and bend him over, Hey and, yo, and, 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 huh? That's <laughs> yo, that's the shit I be talking about when I say I do not don't agree with everything I say. I fucks with him, but he be saying some shit that I just no, nah. I, I sat not back and said I knocked son out and pushed his doodle all over his belly. Bro, what? I'm always being disrespectful. This so, this is what I'm talking about, sorry. bro. Yeah, when I said Disgusting. that, that's the video that they flagged. I got a strike for that. But notice, I wonder dog, why. Your page. I didn't flag you, doggy. So you put a post up, right? You put a post up. And in your post, what you say? Stop with the lies. Nothing happened to your channel. Nigga, I didn't say nothing. I didn't tell y'all anything happened. I didn't want y'all to know what happened to me. I was just mentally dealing with all of the things that I was going through. So it can make me great. But y'all, y'all didn't say, hold up. And I want, I want to show y'all how funny they is and how they working with Africa Bambada. Before my page got to strike, nobody, like a lot of them cats that's all running together, they said, we're going to keep his name out the algorithm. We're not going to make no videos about him so he could die down. That's why I'm I was making videos about you. <laughs> I was still making videos, and you're not pulling in my the views that you was doing for me at first, Haas. All right, now me and you, now me and you beefing at this point. You feel me? Because you dead got your channel removed, and like unmonetized, whatever, I, whatever you going through, and now you feel me? The content is looking real slim on my channel right now. You feel me? But it's alright though. It's alright though. On the internet. When I get off the internet, y'all make a million video. I went more viral than Takashi Six Nine. Me and Takashi Six Nine. Me not saying nothing on YouTube. Me just being quiet on YouTube went more viral than anything on the internet. That's how you know I'm a you bad motherfucker. Yeah, I'm a bad motherfucker. That let me know just how strong my voice is. That let me know just how strong my voice is. And you niggas is sick. I take man. the show on the road. Now, I'm not telling you that I'm not going to get my monetization back. I don't know. And I don't even care at this point. Because now you can't control my cash app. And anybody and everybody that goes over to my Patreon and subscribe to Patreon. I'm not I can't. I mean, if you want to find my content now and what I think about all these topics now. I'll be over on Patreon. Y'all can find me over there, patreon.com. That's where I'll be at. In the Yo, comment down below if anybody got him on, on Patreon. You feel me? Comment down below. Is is it worth it? Like, is that what we, does that what we're going to have to do to get the content? You feel me? Like, let me know if y'all want me to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm switching up content anyway, you know? Like, he's not the only person we're going to react to. But, you know what I'm saying? Like... He's definitely one of the bangers. I'm not going to lie. But comment down below if y'all want me to go that far. Honestly, I don't think I am, but whatever. So I'm about to start building my rumble up. That's where I'll be at. 
There's more than just YouTube out there. Y'all niggas stuck on this platform. I'm already the king of, of I'm, I'm the king of this shit already. Whether you niggas like it or not, nobody likes your personalities better than mine. They don't. Shout out to M. Rec. M. Rec, holla at me. We got work to do, son. M. Rec, I, I seen your videos. I support you. I respect you. And I respect the fact that off the muscle, certain YouTubers seen exactly what was going on. Exactly what was going on. As soon as I put a video up, as soon as I put a video up, or rather, as soon as, as soon as they started talking about, as soon as Layla Wills, shout out to Layla Wills, as soon as Layla Wills decided that she was going to go out there to protest the hip hop museum, after they just got $5 million more from Chuck Schumer, Fat Joe made this video. And my page went down immediately. An hour after Fat Joe spoke and this video went viral, they took my monetization. That's crazy. I'm not saying Joe did it. Nah, I'm just saying it. something, it. something just ain't right. But I'm going to tell y'all something else too. When shit hit the fan, you see who's really rolling with you. When shit hit the fan, you see who really got your back. When shit hit the fan, Ooh, when shit hit the fan. Don't wait this shit when shit hit the fan to see who's going to stand next to you. Don't wait to that. And all you niggas that was sitting up there asking me for money and begging and borrowing, when you see me climb back, because I'm still on top, I'm just rearranging things financially. But when you see me back, back to my back, don't ask me for nothing. Please, respectfully. We can still sit up there and give each other that, but don't ask me for nothing. Because I got children to feed. And when shit hit the fan, uh, and you look to the left, you look to the right, niggas ain't nowhere to be found. Everybody's silent. So for all of y'all that was sitting up there wishing, oh, his big channel, no, my big channel ain't got taken. It's just sitting to the side. Now everybody can come subscribe over here. Y'all can go subscribe to my Real Topics with Hassan. All my channels and my links is in the description box. So if you want to catch every okay. video, every time I post, I'm going to post on a different page. So now if you want my content, you have to go to every page and subscribe. If not, that's your problem. Get with the... Yeah, I heard him. This is part two of the live, you feel me? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, you feel me? I'm about to do part three. This is a long live, so we can't fit everything and cram everything in one video. So, subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about part two. And I'll see y'all on part three. Let's get it.